Hello beautiful, amazing world and you individual out there. Today I would like to speak about being an individual and still working towards the betterment and the growth of everyone. We have a whole lot of things around in this world that is demanding our attention and focus. But to actually stop, to think and to reflect upon your individuality, your ego, not as a separate, alone and solitary, boxed in being, but a connected one, connecting every single human being that you can think of in this world together with your individuality. Just as we see groups of cultures, groups of countries, groups of different political interests and so on, we are also individual, unique human beings. By grabbing a hold of that uniqueness, without seeing yourself as above anyone, as over anyone, as more important than anyone, but as an individual human being with your interest for the betterment. We can get to a certain equilibrium and acceptance with one another that allows for different paths to take that is still pointing towards one, one destination, one direction. This direction we are going in is the direction for everyone. Everyone to express the freedom, to express the joy, the love and the beauty of the, of the world and of life. We are so much more than just animals and or mechanical mathematical processes of chemical proportions. We are living soul spirit beings that has formed and shaped the body for ourselves and chosen this world and this life to focus on certain areas of where we are meant to work upon here. Individuals is those that chooses their own path and still chooses a moral and ethical one, a loving, a caring one from the heart. It has to be chosen, of course. It has to be a certain faith, love and hope to it. A joy, a, grat a grateful one, a grateful path to take. Because we have so much darkness and so much despair around us to distract us away from the hope. The hope is the healing, the remedy, the forward path towards something better, something greater. Nothing lasts forever, but things are transforming and changing, so nothing are meant to last forever. We are meant to become something new, something more, something that is even more sublime than we are now. And we are already very evolved in many, many areas of life. But of understanding another inner world, the inner world of the human being, of the spirit, we are not very well versed in yet. We have not become as good at this as we train ourselves to be. Which is why we do this every day. To become better human beings, to become more aspiring and full human beings. Right now we are only aspiring human beings. But by grabbing a hold of moral and ethical inclination, brotherly and sisterliness towards each other, no matter where we come from or who we are, as long as we stick to certain divine laws, then we will get to harmonize with each other. 
being interested in each other, be having an interest for the next human being, for the next individual. What do they have to say? Of course, they need to be brave and courageous to come out of their shell. To, and you need, if, if this is to be an opportunity, we should have an open presence, an open atmosphere to allow for expression, for, to allow for conversation, to truly create a magical moment of speaking of what we feel, what the world around us is up to. Studying and exploring many different areas of life. Study what kind of different thought forms that might come. Taking as an example, idealism or realism or mathematism, pneumatism, monadism. These are many different lenses we see things from. Or, and if we see it from a religious standpoint, or an intuitive standpoint, or from a natural standpoint. There are so many different things to study and to explore that deepens and enhances and expands the way a human being can live and understand another human being. But it is important to both be individual and know that we are a member of a whole planet, a whole evolutionary stage, and that we should be dignified and have integrity, be a little knightly, be a little hero-like, an adventurer, but that upholds a just and a moral loving way. Not just for upholding the duty, the cold hard duty, or else no, no, it is doing the duty because it is loving, because it is the right, right thing to do and let the sun shine from your heart. Be a sun, be a sun knight, be a, a guiding light, a guidepost and also an inspiration to the world. Being a certain hopeful, joyful and optimistic individual. And as I say, it has to be chosen, it has to be trying to be, it, to be longed for, to I wish to see this come to fruition and hence I will work upon it. And when you work upon it, you are sowing a seed and this seed will grow in the future. We can't be too eager and too in a hurry to have the, to have the results now. We need patience to let it slowly take root, grow, nourish it, water it, give it the proper, proper care. And then it will, over time, become something we can grab a hold of. Something tangible, something in physical deed. It becomes physical form. That is why we are practicing esoteric science, to bring a certain stability to this. And over time, it will become something really, really amazing and magnificent. But it requires focus, attention and effort. And of course, a love. A love and reverence for the work, for the grand plan, for everything that might come. And take things objectively, but lovingly objectively. Where you, want, where you would see things from a higher perspective, but also the details. The details is also important, because if we leave out some, it will only be half-truths. But if we put, get in as much detail, and also as much diversity, not diversity directly. It is diversity, but individual diversity <clears throat> not not in race or in culture it, it is in individuality that is where our true differences come from 
and where we should honor these differences and find a certain harmony to these, these differences. I think this was everything. Thanks everyone for listening to me and thank you for being supportive and finding your own path on this beautiful, beautiful road. Love you all and may the hierarchy guide and protect you all. Thanks. Love you all. Goodbye.